Here you go. Here's a better look. Now we can really look at it much more closely. This appears to be a U.S. Airways plane that you can see. My colleague Tom Costello, who covers aviation for us, is joining me right now from Washington, D.C. And Tom, what have you been able to gather in terms of new information? Peter, I've got a call into the FAA. They don't have anything immediate, but that's because this is breaking as we speak. This is a, it looks to me like you're looking at a regional jet, and this is really the, one of the mainstays of U.S. Airways as they fly into and out of New York. Uh, I, listen, I think you have to look at the fact that they've got one door open in the front, and thus far it looks like the plane, the, the, the actual fuselage, is above water. Uh, you've got to right now be worried about the people inside, if they're are people inside and exposure to that very frigid water in Hudson Bay. You see there, it looks to me like you've got uh, New York City uh, Fire Department boats that are right alongside that plane, but that certainly looks like a regional jet to me. They're made by both Bombardier and also by Embraer. They can carry anywhere from uh, 75 to 150, depending on the size. I'm not sure what size this one is, but is it is a mainstay of operations going into and out of LaGuardia Airport. LaGuardia LaGuardia is U.S. Airways' hub in New York City, and this is the, exactly the plane that they fly into and out of the entire Northeast Corridor from Boston down to D.C., might also be extending out into, uh, out into Philadelphia and Vermont, uh, elsewhere. Uh, this is a very serious uh, operation. Peter, do you know exactly where along the Hudson is? I find it curious that the plane is down in the Hudson River and not the East River. This is, we, we can tell you a little bit more, Tom. We know that this is happening not so far away from the retired USS uh, uh, carrier, the Intrepid, that is on the lower really? west side of Manhattan in the Hudson River right now. I think as we look at these live pictures, courtesy of the chopper at WNBC, our affiliate in New York City, you can see individuals in life jackets. It appears clear that some of these people uh, have been helped at this point. Lester Holt, uh, my colleague, is now joining us with some more information.